Hello everyone, welcome to Chillopedia, this is Maxim. That's our etude number 24. In this etude you will have to overcome several challenges. Let's briefly talk about each of those challenges. Extensions. Nobody likes to make extensions at first. It takes a while for us to understand that very often extensions help us to play faster and more precise because we don't have to make so many shifts. Unless you have extremely large hands, then you might experience some difficulty reaching the higher note with the pinky. Here are a few tips. Make sure when you have to extend your fourth finger, you think about extending the second finger. First and second fingers make an extension much easier compared to pinky. Those muscles are way more developed. And we have to take advantage of that. So in order to reach the C sharp in the first measure, make sure that your second finger is extended as far as possible. Just merely extending the second finger moves the pinky to much higher position. On top of that, you might find it useful to turn the wrist towards pinky. So when you play, you will be doing both. You will be extending the second finger and turning your wrist towards the pinky. You have many shifts in this etude. Some of them you have to make in advance because you have the open string right before you have to make this shift. For example, the fifth note of the second measure. You have to move to the second position. I'm making a shift while I'm playing open string. This is much more efficient way compared to making this shift at the very last moment. It might seem to make very little difference, but when you'll have to play faster, you will be able to feel how much advantage it will make if you actually make all those shifts in advance, whenever you have open A right before the shift. And another challenge we have to talk about is string crossings. You have so many string crossings in this etude and I cannot even imagine you playing it well without taking care of this part of technique. Right from the beginning, you have to start from the G string and go to D and A strings. You prepare the bow in one position and then you have to adjust it accordingly. In order to feel it right, you might want just to play a few notes on G, then D and A strings. When you do it several times, you will learn to adjust the angle of the ball and then you will use it to play this etude. I'm sure you noticed that I kept my left hand in extended position 
using the ability of the second finger to make an extension. Then I made most of the shifts when I was playing an open strain right before that and I was adjusting the angle of the bow when I went from G to D to A strings. Work on one problem at a time and I'm sure you will master it. To help you to work on all those issues, I recorded this etude in a slower tempo, 60 beats per minute. Of course, you can study it in even slower tempo or faster. Just make sure that you change tempo gradually until you will reach desired tempo. I'm so happy that you decided to work on this etude by Dotsauer. I wish you all the best and hope to see you again on Chilopedia. <laughs>